Arts on the Mill race is in its ninth iteration, giving local artists a place to sell and showcase their work. With Goshen being a relatively small town, one has to wonder, why has Arts on the Mill race continued to thrive? Adrienne Nesbitt, the festival director, credits the art-driven community. Yeah, I think Goshen, you know, whether it's art or music or other parts of um, curating culture, um, Goshen's always been really great at that. Even from a young age, our schools do a good job of, of nurturing that love of art. This idea of the culture and the community of Goshen was carried amongst many of the artists. Nora Amstutz, the owner of Nora Ruth Pottery, had similar sentiments. Um, this community just supports artists so well, and you have people from all walks of life here. Nathan Pauls, the owner of Potter Pauls, also says that freedom at Goshen College to explore classes nurtured his career in pottery after graduating in 2021. Goshen has a really good way of letting you kind of get into classes that aren't like maybe within your major. So I started out as a communication major, um, then I took a couple art classes, which got me into ceramics, which, you know, fast forward two, three years, and now I'm here actually selling pots. Jesse Omstutz, the owner of Jesse Omstutz Studio, had a very similar experience. I, I think, yeah, Goshen, the education I had at Goshen College helped me be able to explore a bunch of different things and, yeah, dip my toes in a bunch of different waters. The community encouraged many graduates like Paul's to remain in the area even after graduation. So something that I've noticed, I mean, just from talking to people, it's actually the reason I stayed in Goshen after grad, because I'm not from the area, but it's because of at least the pottery community and also the art community is very strong. Reporting for Globe News, I'm Alyssa McDonald.